Hello everyone in my channel Thumbs Games. Today we're gonna learn quickly how to create a simple 2D player movement. Left, right and jump for 2D game. Before we start, please subscribe to support me and let's get started. So first we need to create a new 2D project. After that, I added two sprites to my project, the player and the ground. We're gonna add them to the scene. Now we have to add a Box Collider 2D to both of them. And make sure that the Box Collider is 2D. You can adjust the size like you want. And let's test now. Of course nothing gonna happen. So the first things that we need is to create a gravity for the player. And we can do that by adding rigid body to the player. And make sure also that the rigid body is 2D. So let's test now. And of course the player gonna fall. So that's all what we need in the Unity editor. Now let's create a new script for our player movement. After that, the first thing that we need is to create a public float variable to our player movement speed. Now you have to save and add the script to our player. And like you see here, we can directly adjust the player speed from the editor. And that's why we have to use public here. For the movement left and right, we use default horizontal input axis. And also we create a new vector tree with X axis set to our input. And multiple that by time dot delta time. And also multiply all that to our player speed variable. And once you save, the player now should move. It's too slow so you can change the speed from here. After we finish with the movement, now let's make our player jump. So we create a new public float for our player jump force. And we create also a reference to our rigid body. On update function, we will also use the default input system, but now we will use jump. We do this now to only allow a single jump every time. And for the rigid body, we add the force in Y axis and we use here our variable jump force. And the force that we will apply, we use force mode to the dot impulse. And now let's save the script and test if there is something wrong. You can go here and change your jump force as you like. And it's working now. Thanks for watching and I hope this tutorial helped you.